Okay, so this is Amazon, which is another directory, uh, but it's a directory for products. So everybody watching this right now, I want you to take advantage of this business model of building directories or AKA marketplaces, okay? So over here on Builderall, they have the option for you to do the directory builder right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few of the softwares and resources that I'm using today that will fill up my directory site, which is properties.rentals. Uh, and this is a directory listing website for vacation rentals and home sales, uh, a, a hybrid between, between Zillow and Airbnb, that type of business model. But anyway, so how am I going to fill up something like this? How would these people, if I wanted to be a competitor for Amazon and build out an extremely lucrative and profitable directory site, uh, with sellers that are going to create the content for me, rank the pages for me, um, you know, do the SEO for me, bring the sales in for me. You got to remember anybody that creates a listing on here, that means all of these people up in here, up in here, all of these people that fit in these categories, they're putting their Amazon links in their social media bios, in their freaking website embeds, all of that, all of that, and driving all of the crazy traffic to Amazon. So majority of the traffic that comes from Amazon is a combination. It is SEO because as you can see, any type of product that you look up, Amazon is ranking for it. So SEO is a majority of that traffic, but the rest of it comes from affiliate and referral traffic and it is proof. So I'm going to show you exactly what I would do if I want to catch up. Well, you probably can't catch up with Amazon right now. I'm just going to be honest with you. But if you want to build something extremely lucrative in a particular niche. So I know y'all can see my screen right now, or at least I Pray that you can. This is one of the softwares I use to scrape Instagram right now. It is scraping uh, real estate agents in the United States. OK, so I got to set to 10,000 right here. As you can see, uh, we got 9000 leads and it is scraping the emails, the usernames, the phone numbers of these real estate agents. <coughs> but let's say I wanted to build a marketplace like um, Amazon or eBay or some Shopify type crap like that. What I would do is the keyword would, you know, you can search by hashtag. So first you're going to get all the user IDs for Amazon sellers. So Amazon sellers, you will search that in here. Uh, Shopify store owners, you will search that in here. Anything like that. E um, online e-commerce people, blah, blah, blah. You will search that hashtag. It will scrape the user. You will put the user IDs in here. And then you will put how much the maximum results you want, choose your account, and then you will press start. And then it will begin extracting their usernames, uh, their real full names, their phone numbers, their gender, all of that extra stuff and their email. So what are you going to do with that? You're then going to, so this is what it's going to look like. Let me show you. So this is the list of 4,000. Uh, hold on, somebody trying to come in. This is the list of 4,000 uh, 86 realtors of Instagram. So this is the first list I did. And this is for my properties.rentals directory, guys. This is why I'm not going to have to struggle to get people on there because I'm going to have all of these blast campaigns going out. Blast campaigns. What am I talking about? So let's come back over here and I will go to another site that I will show you that I've shown a, a few times. But if you're new watching this, then you've never seen it. So We'll come up in here, up in here, in my DMX voice. Okay. Ah, oh, man, it's in maintenance mode right now. It will be right now, <laughs> right now while I'm recording this. But anyway, this is another site right here. So I have my own software that I have built out for this, but this is one that you guys can use. So let's say you got your um, <clears throat> list of 10,000, 20,000 Shopify sellers, Amazon sellers, e commerce store owners, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you can set up a campaign, the text blast campaign for those numbers. That website I was just on is a website that will do ringless voicemail blast. So it will drop a voicemail. You'll record a voicemail clip and it will drop it into the voicemail machines of thousands and thousands of cell phones at one time. So instead of you manually cold calling one person one by one saying, hey, can you put your Shopify products or your, your e-commerce products on my new directory site? No. Instead, it will leave that voicemail on 100,000 freaking uh, voicemails. And then you got the text blast software, something like this. This one is kind of pricey, dude. Like, <laughs> like this one's super pricey. That's why I got my software um, custom made where I don't have to pay for every credit and all of that 
extra stuff. Like this is a good business model if you wanted to start your own business like this for show show. Realtors will pay for that. But my point is I have my own custom software so I can blast out to as many freaking numbers as I want to. So I'm going to do the ringless voicemail blast. Then I'm going to do the text blast. And then I'm going to um, use an email software. Matter of fact, I'll show you one. Uh, we'll, go, we'll just go to Google and we'll type in uh, best code email software. And it'll probably be Cindio. Uh, what's another one? And you can have somebody on Fiverr like uh, they can they can. Oh, here's one right here. Gmas. This is one right here that I've heard is pretty decent and you can schedule it out as well. So they got a couple of them. Woodpecker. I've heard of that one. Mail Rush. I heard some complaints on that one, but then there's another one called sender.io. Yes, where is pretty decent as well. So my point is you'll begin taking those lists of thousands and thousands and thousands of e-commerce store owners, and you'll be blasting them out through email blasts, through text blasts, through ringless voicemail blasts. Now, what would you do next? You're like, okay, well, David, I'm doing all of that. You know, of course, you want to start ranking for these type of things. You want your directory listing to rank for, uh, you know, alternatives to uh, Shopify, you know, or alternatives to Amazon stores. Where else can I sell my products besides Amazon? Blah, blah, blah. You want to rank for those type of keywords. But other than that, what you can do is you're going to take this list right here and then you're going to plug it into Facebook. Yes, you guessed it. And now over there on Google ads and YouTube ads, you can create lookalike audiences. So what Facebook and Google is going to do, they're going to take these emails and they're going to look at the user behavior of the people attached to these emails. So if they create a Facebook account with these emails. Facebook knows what their profile activity is. That means they know if they've been sleeping. They know if they're not just playing with you. That, but they do know that. <laughs> but my point is what they're going to do is they're going to pay attention to what they actually do. Have they ever bought anything uh, online uh, with a credit card through Facebook or through Google, through Google? What are the ads that they typically click on when it comes to their news feed and stuff? So they're going to create a lookalike audience from those Shopify and e-commerce store owners and stuff like that. And it's going to start running your ad in front of them. You're going to show up right up in this area and it's going to say something. <laughs> it's going to say something to the effect of, hey, if you're seeing this ad right now, that means you own some type of product that you have on Amazon or Shopify or something. We are a new platform. And if you or not, if when you create a new listing today on our platform, you'll insert irresistible offer right there okay <laughs> insert irresistible offer right there so now you're scraping the plate that's what i like to call it so you have your offensive strategy which is your your ranking and building up a noticeable brand on social media where they come and find you whether or not you're doing any type of outreach or outbound stuff and then you have your offensive strategy where you're going to be running the facebook ads to the lookalike audience which is going to be extremely cheap leads cheap inquiries if you keep them on a platform through lead form ads or through um, messenger ads, okay? And on top of that, you're going to be doing your ringless voicemail blast. If you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, I'm talking about using a uh, 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 ringless voicemail and is going to be connected to an IVR. So you're going to pay for your uh, number and your number will be something like an 800 number or something, okay? So this is called Fire and you can get a, like a number for like 10 bucks. There's some free little places where you can get a number, but they're not gonna have all of the features that you want. So if you click on products and everything, you click on products and everything, then you'll be able to see what you'll be able to do with your 800 number, right? Okay, so you can do voice broadcast on here as well. But, you know, the ringless voicemail software, that pretty much covers that right here. But it allows you to text message. This is the main part right here, call tracking, right? Buy one, two, or even thousands of local or toll-free numbers and stuff. And then this is the magic, interactive voice response. So a lot of people are like, okay, I know what ringless voicemail is, Dave. Um, you know, I'm going to do this ringless voicemail blast out to these thousands of numbers, inviting them to come over to my platform and list their product so, you know, they can blow up my my freaking Amazon alternative, right? But the thing is this, most people don't check their voicemail. And, you know, most people are lazy. They're just gonna call the number back when they see that they got a notification. So what you want to do is make sure you have an IVR connected to the number that they call back. This IVR right here is going to automatically play a recording saying, I know you didn't hear my damn voicemail. So <laughs> since you hear my voicemail again, I'll repeat it. Listen. 
create a listing on my um what is it called amazon alternative and new product listers will receive this insert irresistible offer press one uh to be sent the link to the place where you're going to create the listing blah 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 or press two to be emailed or something you know what i'm saying so you create your ivr that way you don't have to answer anything live if you don't want to and uh you can pretty much give them the instructions straight there so it's completely automated it's pretty much like a whole business just through a freaking phone okay you can even uh like set it up to where you can collect the payments through this ivr it's just awesome guys so like these are some of the ways people use it auto attended call routing uh data collection phone surveys you know and then you can customize the solutions for what you need so like i said you can pretty much automate the entire business when you do your ringless voicemail blast so this is what i strongly suggest you do before you run your facebook ads because even though we're going to get the uh the leads like extremely cheap or whatever for your um directory listing these ways that i'm showing you ringless voicemail blast text blast email blast those are the grunt uh actions and uh you know most cost effective actions first and then you want to go to what i call scraping the plate so i believe that you guys pretty much got it from here as far as uh directory you know what i'm saying like how, how to like do this but anyway over here so this is where you would build your directory okay so as you can see i only have this one directory in here uh you can preview it if you want to you can edit it you can unpublish it. You can uh, copy the site map so that it can start ranking. You put it in your Google Analytics. You build a directory. When it says build directory, it's talking about assembling it because right now it's in a lot of pieces. Anytime you uh, create like anything over here is just an extra piece. Then you got to remember to come over here and say build directory and it adds it to the directory, the new thing that you create. Like if you add a new city, city or something, then you publish directory. So we'll just come over here. You can add the countries and uh, so for instance if you guys watching this man you should already be up in this damn build around because this is like uh one of my students said earlier it's an all-in-one marketing suite but it's not just that like it's just it just comes with everything like any type of automations this is a photo editor pretty much like a, an alternative to photoshop you can do your mock-up studio where you can create the like product uh stuff for your directory listing where it looks all professional where it looks like you're like a damn a product photographer or something uh, here's the marketplace where you can actually promote your stuff through their email list and you know make sales with other people that's on there whatever you can create share lockers for it uh instagram auto responder if you're doing lead generation on there for your directory builder uh instagram chat bot if somebody message you about your your um you know directory um website whatever blah 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 and this is the directory builder webinar builder all of this stuff anyway so anyway you can find your way around that if you're on the inside but this is just a way of creating something like this all you need to do is supply the platform right here this is properties this is mine it's just bare bones all i'm doing right now is creating the background the cities the countries the states the neighborhoods the categories you know you can see the categories right here blah 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 then the subcategories right here all that all my job is all my job is to do to create the backbone like the back you know uh background and everything and then <clears throat> once i start promoting this to all of those realtors their job is to list their own properties on here i don't have to create the profiles for them they're going to come right here click on advertise <clears throat> they're going to click on advertise here then it's going to open up and then they're going to be able to put their personal information and then they're going to be able to put their content in there and boom you can come back here and you can manually accept it or you can set it to where it just accepts anybody that goes through there you know this is where you can create the like the paid uh like if they want to get the premium listings and stuff like that so guys like this is just where it is you know like if you're not creating a directory you're not really trying to make some massive amounts of money it's just being real i'm gonna just tell you the truth i don't care what business model you're doing oh well i'm a drop shipper well why don't you own a site that people do the drop shipping from like dude who makes more the people that puts up the listings are the people that own the place where pe that allows people to put up the damn listings amazon makes far more than any one of these even though some of these guys are like eight figure earners and stuff that it wouldn't be possible if they didn't have a platform for them to sell their stuff on you understand what i'm talking about so if you're trying to drop ship drop service or something like that you need a directory website and you can come over to builder all and you can do that here it is up in here one more time right 